Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty unfair. We are moderately rich with 38 profit factor and we are moderately successful with three colonies. And as we have explored Dargonas, we're, at least in the palace, we're now going to do that in the Administratum. So why do we need to put J in here? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, if we put J in there, let's put Abelard out. We're putting J in and... We're just using Heinrichs as a tank for now. Should be good enough. It's potentially her personal side uh, side quest or side story. Very good. So we equipped uh, Jay. Uh, I found a nice amulet for anyone who is iconoclast. Uh, that gives 10 on all skills. That's a really, really nice amulet. Don't even know where we got it uh, from. Might be one of the loot. She's going to be a grenade character together with some pistol support and a couple of other great abilities. So I'm looking Steady. forward to play a bit more with her. Powers and on that note, I think uh, once we have a few more characters, we can finally get that second group rolling, which I'm looking forward for. Welcome, greetings to the Palace of the Adeptus Administratum. Your Lordship, please follow me. Well, at least we're VIP guests, eh? Checking coordinates. Good. We needed, as a reminder, to help Jay here uh, with a bit of a rerouting of goods. Very good. So, let's get that and that and tons and tons of paper um, they are traveling the war but they are still using paper all right master of seals an ancient looking woman in uh, voluminous robes peers you critical through the ocular lenses uh, when you descend into the bowel of the bureaucratic domain another noble bypassing the queue under the pretext of just wanted to ask all you hype on uh, are doing is or just wanting to ask but about protocol that is what i'm asking who is following protocol what so i paid off a few clerks to let us skip the queue shireen your time is more important to me than any little formalities. Very well. Don't just stand there. Head over here. Or do you think the Master of Seals has nothing better to do than receive unexpected visitors? The woman beckons over a servitor skull floating nearby. Begin entry. Current hour. Current turn. Current cycle. The 41st millennium. Mental manipulations immediately begin uh, feverishly clocking, taking dictation. All right. Uh, my companion wishes to obtain a Mercatum Tabula Officii. I take it you are her sponsor. In that case, you must submit a written application in conformity with template 404.01, as well as a written permission for processing, uh, possessing and notarizing of the personal data of your most sacred personage. Uh, without it, I cannot issue mistress Heydari, Mrs. Heydari, the form for collecting the seals required to obtain the Mercatum Tabula Officale, uh, the certificate, a certificate of an official trade representative. Seals? What seals? We will discuss what uh, Valencius has prepared in the primary documentation. All right, let's complete the form. The perfectly sharpened quill scratches pleasantly on the parchment, but for the first few minutes, the obscure uh, fucuration phrasing, footnotes, amendments, you are forced to write out the same detail over and over about you, your protectorate, Theodora from Valencius, Jay, and also every other living person who bears your family name. An hour later. Next, the consent form, the processing and notarization of personal data to your most sacred uh, person, uh, person. Mm. 
Master Seal uh, draws out her Kurita quill across the surface of the data slate, paying no attention to you. One hour later, the scrolls whipped away from another tube of Master of Seals. Protocol executed, application received processes approved. Server school uh, scribe uh, taps uh, out each word after the mistress's pronouncement. Come on, uh, Steve Darmar. What, uh, what's that you were saying about seals? Here is your document, Mrs. Heydari. Unfortunately, it does not have uh, legal force. I can certify it using uh, sacred Merctum Tabula Officale once it has received two seals of approval. They're easy to obtain. In the Imperium Court Administratum, servitors have been handling such tasks for 150 cycles. There is uh, one such servitor here on Drago Taurus in the Rogue Trader's place. The second is duty bound to keep the seal in the Telicos Ellipsis system. Alright, please return once you have the documents. The Emperor sets my path. Well, absolutely fantastic. The world trembles beneath my feet. I think bureaucracy is every everyone's favorite. I always feel bad for people needing to work in those jobs. I know that they have chosen them, but imagine that you need to do that every single day. All right, find the seal on uh, Draconus. Um, Clementia Versierian must be in charge of the servitor. Then there is one in Janus. Okay, interesting quest, so I put some thought into how to level J, but instead all we needed to do is sign a form. Very interesting. Back to the palace it is. And we don't need J for that. Although she's a good companion, I might want to play a little bit uh, with her but like I said we're going to get kind of that second team rolling and I would like to have a completely different uh, team one uh, that consists of different members We're rushing forward. Let's go, baby. Good. Finally back to the palace. So... Versine should be up here. And we should be able... Yep, there we go. Mistress Heydari, my patience is not that easily exhausted, but you are coming very close. I shall repeat myself, no, I will not be issuing any seal, not in exchange for your honest word, nor for a bribe. Hmm. Jay, what did you do? Let the rogue trader decide. Your Lordship, I apologize for this ugly scene, but ma may I ask you reign in Mistress Herari and put a stop to her inflammatory actions towards me? Uh, as the Exalted One is my witness, Sherina, I've tried everything I could to spare you the unnecessary headache. I even showed the um, aid the temper worse than a sandstorm on the certificate with your signature. But the Chancellor merely keeps bettering away in her flail of baseless denials. Oh no, 
this is not uh, this is not about me at all. Uh, Jay narrowed her eyes and peers into Clementia's face until the letter finally looks away. I see. Well, Chancellor, will you tell yourself or should I help you? What is the matter? Clementia said, I am afraid that my words may anger you, your lordship. The seal you are looking for was lost a quarter um, of a century ago. Her ladyship Theodora from Valencia ordered a new one to be delivered to the Imperium. But as you well know, uh, we are long away from the Holy Terror. And with warp storms ravaging, we've been unable to receive a replacement. Could this be the seal in question? This is without a doubt the administratum seal from the winter scale realm. But why is uh, this the original and not a copy? Ah, I think I understand. Well, the laws of the Imperium do not prohibit heirs of other houses from using seals in times of need. I will order uh, to have the servants of the machines called create duplicates so to avoid such embarrassment predicaments in the future. All right, you're dismissed. Fantastic, one seal down, one more to go. Okay. Um... Very good. So, as for quests, uh, I think uh, we got the next seal on Janus. Um, okay. We still need to go to Kiavagama, which we don't know where that is. And we need to save the Aldar uh, Aldari for Gerliot. Uh, um, okay, contrary to my beliefs, apparently nothing else is going on in uh, um, our main hub, but that's okay. We're going to take it to the ship. I'm flying to Janus, and from there we're going to um, then fly back here and hopefully uh, expand a little bit further to the north. Fabulous. So we got ourselves uh, the second uh, seal uh, and flew back and forth uh, so that we can finish the quest. And uh, we got a colony pro uh, project done. Uh, and typically I'm not highlighting minor items, but this one is great. Ice of Jujus. Uh, the wearer's Psy rating is increased by plus one against demons for each rank of Dogmatic. Um, that's pretty damn good. So good old Saiken is now having a Psy rank of four. Uh, that is great. Also, we need to finish Jay's current quest and uh, in the meantime uh, House Orthelio, uh, so Cassia's house, has uh, found out that she's our navigator so uh, they want to speak with us which I think will happen here-ish as well. Uh, lots and lots of stuff. Um, before we're doing any of that, we return to the palace. Um, very good. Yeah, we need to go to the uh, to the palace, and I think that's also where we are going to have the conversation regarding Cassia. Good. Let's go to the palace, and we are. We're going to have a couple of conversations. I hope that uh, the companion storyline will actually give us something meaningful. 
Jay seems to be a nice companion. A little bit quirky, but nice. So pretty sure things are happening in the throne room here. About the meeting with the navigators of Horus or Selio, allow me to report the esteemed navigators of Horus or Selio have taken residence in the guest estate and are waiting a meeting with you. All right. Cassia and I are ready for the task. Let's go. We lost the profit factor, unfortunately for uh, welcoming them but maybe that'll have a positive benefit on how the meeting actually goes Regent Arantalia Oselio, esteemed delegation, the rogue trader uh, Van Valencius Protector welcomes you. Come this way, please. Okay. All of that is always so, so official. Warhammer might be a game that focuses uh, on the surface on war and in, in just a grim dark fantasy but um, the bureaucracy and the waste of resources they got that very much correct the esteemed re representatives of navis nobility have arrived at the rogue traders court regent of the great house or Selio, aranto or Selio. his companions lady blah 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 doesn't matter he's the guy who matters A tall, wizened old proudly stares at you with milky, unblinking eyes. Loose skin sways away from his every move, as if the navigator's flesh has detached from his bones. An unsightly uh, hole mars the region's face where his nose should be. An old man's skull is covered with a spiky growth. Rogue trader, on behalf of House Orselio, we are like to express our immense satisfaction at this meeting, our gratitude and the warm welcome. It is, um, it pleases us to know that there are still lords in the Quranus uh, expanse who observe etiquette and traditions as hospitality, and yet this is why we're here. Our grace is obliged to note how much the rogue trader has done for House Orselio by protecting the beloved child. We are waiting many turns for her to... Um, behold her radiant visage. Come on, child, there is much we need to discuss. I, Kasia, um, Kasia steps forward. Esteemed regent, uh, uh, it pleases me to see the gleaming sheen of gold and turquoise about you, Bow. Uh, it is thanks to the efforts of the rogue trader I stand here today, and that much I want to tell you. But what is it that you desire to hear most we know what happened at the station child your connection with atlas has grown strong we felt turmoil in your soul and the events transpired have shaken us horse ocelia is deeply grateful for the rogue trader for the destruction of the saboteurs and we were willing to reciprocate such uh, magnificent uh, gesture we trust uh, the treaty of the french and alliance underpinned by uh, uh, by the transfer of several artifacts of exceedingly uh, of exceeding rarity will suffice now come child this is the time we depart for you know home so that uh, we may finish what we started Cassia esteemed regent uh, perhaps I could continue my education while I'm still accompanying, uh, accompanying the rogue trader on his travels just imagine how much I could learn uh, beyond the bounds of Cassia would be honored if you decided to stay unthinkable Don't just stand there. Help the rogue trader defend the child and the palace. 
So you're telling me Down with Chesiphone's tyranny. Kill the girl. So that lady navigator uh, has just decided to, uh, to go rogue. What is even happening? It seems that every single conversation that we're having, Your one person. Oh yeah, okay. But ashes. For the emperor. One person is like completely losing their shit and <laughs> is starting to kill everyone. Unbelievable. All right, time for a battle. <clears throat> All right, so we position ourselves, which is good. We can give it a go. I still don't understand uh, why Elena would do what she has done. So uh, let's go into the proceedings. Uh, it is a, a treachery and treason uh, to toy with, uh, with us in that uh, way. So she will pay the ultimate price. We're One buffing Lady Cassia and... We're moving forward in anticipation of getting closer to the zone. Good. Lady Cassia. Uh, Lady Cassia, my dear. Step aside. The navigator is coming. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Well, that sucks being you. Isn't this a job for the serfs? If I may. That is foolishness. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Good. We have plenty. Uh, we have plenty of great maneuvers. Unfortunately, we can't hit her. Me. Line of sight prevents that from happening, captain. but we dealt some damage, which is great. Got the movement stratagem. Fantastic, that's the best uh, thing that could have happened to us, Activate honestly. All of them are scanned. Uh, we could even create more damage uh, by doing this here. My vow is to serve. Not sure if the blitz stratagem still works, but we're going to find out. And look at that. Very nice. Good, very good. Pascal has done a fantastic job. Uh, we could still, we could still give everybody else the join for uh, the uh, the buff. Very good. I have read uh, Lady Navigator is not impacted. I find that disturbing. Alright, that, and we're giving Saiken a little buff, and I'm then this. I'm afraid not. Alright, Heinrichs uh, definitely Listen. keeps all of them onto himself. Dodge. The Moves to here. Is on our side. 
A little bit more damage to all of you would Let's be good. Nice little feeble. Um, what are we going to do? Look, we could buff you. Uh, sure, why not? And he goes to town with the Lady Navigator. Good, Saiken moves up. I will triumph. Moves up fully. And Argenta's already buffed. So she should take I this and guidance. an extra turn. Faith without deeds is worthless. Let's go, baby. Couple of phenomenal hits there. Could use a grenade, but we don't need to do oh, well, mm -hmm. Nah, we're good. Look at that. 127. We're increasing it. 208. Are you kidding me? Purpose guides me. Satisfying demise. <laughs> oh, wow. Whispers guide my hand. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. No way. Doubt is for the weak. Eradicated. As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without deeds is. Very nice. Oh, my lord. As the we Emperor are commands. hitting. Can't hit this uh, bodyguard there, which is a bit of a shame. That is not the Emperor's will. Doubt is for the yeah, we're just reloading. Wait, As I do have an idea. Commands, I act. The enemies of the All Emperor right, there we go. Undone. Faith without deeds is... Look out. Still, I'm still trying to process the 200 hit point damage that Saiken, uh, that Saiken dealt. That was just crazy. I'll do it. This is why I was chosen. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> All right, what exactly were you thinking when you attacked us? Mercy, says uh, Elena, who somehow survived that. The Lady, Na Lady Navigator covers her face uh, with uh, disfigured scarly hands, each uh, with an extra finger and conjoined phalangeal bones. Her clothes are covered in blood, mostly that of servants, and several unexploded bolts are sticking out of her chest plate. Rogue Trader, whether on purpose or out of ignorance, you are harboring a monster that is cunningly pretending to be an innocent maid. Spare me, and I, 
Elena Orselio will swear to tell you the whole truth about the madness that's devouring house uh, Orselio like a malignant tumor. Do not let uh, the regent deceive you with the oninous lies and um, lest the uh, cursed child ruin the protectorate as well. I will hear what you have to tell me. Thank you for your lenience, rogue trader. The unnatural bulbous eyes of the navigator constantly shift between you and Cassia. Black uh, secretion runs down her cheeks instead of tears, leaving on slightly streaks. I, Elenia of House Orthelio, swear to tell the rogue trader nothing but the truth. May the uh, God Emperor be my witness. Silence, with all due respect, House Orselia has hardly covered itself with glory these days. It is time to representatives to answer before the rogue trader. Regent Atolia, representatives of the house, uh, made an attempt on Lady Cassia's life and attacked the rogue trader. Rogue trader, House Othelia humbly asks for your lenience and forgiveness. We could not even imagine these vile rats uh, could be scurrying amongst our red, uh, ranks. As for sneaking into the rogue trader's palace and uh, staging an unthinkable crime, God Emperor be our witness. The accursed renegades seek to spark a feud between the houses. I believe you, and yet this is now the second attempt made on Cassia's life. I need answers. We're ready to tell you everything uh, we know so that this misunderstanding can be remedied as quickly as possible. Tell me about the renegades. Those are madmen who seek to destroy the century-old tradition of the great houses so carefully nurtured by the uh, previous novators Tisfon or Selio. They deem, uh, the, uh, they deem the centuries of her rule a tyranny and most of the sacred relics cured a uh, curse uh, that must be destroyed. Fools! If the Atlas were to be uh, destroyed... Good, let's try that again. Uh, if the Atlas were to be destroyed, the whole Orselio um, would follow into ob ob oblivion. All right, so the Atlas seems to be the relic that they are after. Uh, why do the Renegades seem to destroy the house's relics? Uh, the dread her power uh, for only a novator can fully grasp the mysteries that harness the power of the stay uh, Starway Atlas. What the Renegades call a leash we call Guiding Star. Why are the people trying to kill Lady Nicasia? Everybody in the house knows the child is the keeper of the one true Starway Atlas, which once belonged to the great Noviter um, Tisphon Orselio. The ungrateful wretches secretly hate her grace, and when Tisphon um, abdicted her responsibilities and set off uh, four parts unknown, they start, uh, staged a revolt to destroy her successor. Does Cassia really carry the Trisphorian Atlas? We believe it with all of our heart. The Novator spent many circles on the world where the child was born and said that everybody who had witnessed the miracle of her birth simultaneously departed for destination unknown only to the Novator. Okay. It looks like Horus of Selyo has fallen on hard times. To call your statement false would be a lie. For many years we have managed to maintain a fragile balance within the house, but then the Novator's departure shook the faith of many. The treasury is empty, the navigators are scattered, the war routes are scrambled, and many of our allies cannot be reached, which is why it is important to complete the child's education. If Cassia's uh, duty is to take Trisphone's place and lead the house to prosperity, such is her great destiny. All right. Lady Lina, what do you have to say in your defense? I do not know what you wish to learn, but I will start from the very beginning. Long time ago, Trisform ascended from the throne of Oselio. She was a daring, she was a daring novator uh, who brought uh, parts of the house to expanse, hoping to strengthen our position in the Imperium. The house prospered, but Trisform was never satisfied. She went mad in her pursuit of power, seeking more influence, more control. And she saw enemies everywhere, even amongst her loyal followers. Uh, paranoia slowly was driving Trisphon insane. One day she created um, the Starway Atlas, a relic that is implanted in our bodies at birth. 
uh, noose around our necks, uh, our gifts and our damnation. Trisphone used the atlas to control us, subdue us to our, uh, to our will and mold our thoughts. If anyone put a toe out of line, she killed them with an inner glance. At first, many branches of the house or Celio tried to resist her tyranny, and Trisphone cut them down with extreme brutality. For example, the entire Setala branch was destroyed simply because its leader asked too many questions about the Atlas and wanted to know the truth about its creation. What else is she guilty of? Her madness weakened the dynasty, and not long ago the Novators vanished. Indeed, her loyal followers lie when they say she chose to retire. The truth is nobody knows the truth. I hope she's rotting away in one of her secret worlds. I understand Trisphone's transgression, but what has that to do with Lady uh, Cassia? Trisphone passed her atlas to the successor before fleeing the house, a newborn child. Uh, Trisphone was cunning and treacherous and must have hatched the entire plan beforehand. Her disappearance, the child, the transfer of the leash, we feared uh, that one day she would be uh, reborn into Cassia's body. And we could not let that happen. You called Cassia a monster be because of the Atlas? Largely yes, but there is more. Have you never felt pure, unadulted disgust when standing close to her, or perhaps fury or fear? Uh, who but a monster would manipulate the minds of feeling of others, even so, uh, even more so than Tris Phone herself did? All right, that's a pretty poor excuse, to be honest. I mean, you cannot, you cannot punish someone based on their origin, uh, just proactively. That is not how crime works. I'm ready to deliver my judgment. I find Lady Elena had here guilty of attempted murder on La Sicaria uh, and the attack on the road trader. Hmm. Well, I don't know what uh, the punishment for that crime would typically be. 2,000 years of imprisonment doesn't sound legit. Uh, killing her and transforming her into servitor isn't great either. Executing her, not great. Out of all of uh, those, the imprisonment <clears throat> sounds like the most humane uh, version, and that's how I want to rule. She bursts into hysterical laughter that is now utterly uh, bereft of reason. Allow me what fate awaits the esteemed region and the other members of uh, the house. I dismiss all charges of the rest. I'll sign a treaty of friendship in the lines between our dynasties. Oh, look at that. Navigator's Insights 15. I wish to help or sell you to solve the current problems. Um, what about an exchange of culture and technology? Theodora Van Valencius was very open-minded, but uh, she did not support many of the endeavors and neither should we. The Fried House or Celia will have to refuse the offer. I would like to discuss um, Lady Cassia's future now.
Cassia has no need of tutelage. As a future novator, she will handle the issues on her own. Uh, under the expense law, the payment for rescuing the Lady Navigator was a contract obliging her to serve on my ship. Hmm. Um, they're traitors in your midst. Would uh, the Lady Navigator be safe under your protection? Mm hmm. She has no need for your tutelage. As a future novator, she will handle the issues uh, her own. Um... Can I go back? I don't want to lose her. Uh, of course you cannot do it alone. Uh, now is the time to make your own decisions. Let's go. We'll be staying with the rogue trader at this time. We moved uh, from theory to practice. This time we are compelled to agree with you, child, but do not forget your duty. Uh, we must take our leave. May the Emperor watch over you. Well, we got 50 navigators inside. That is actually not bad at all. That is not bad at all. All right, where is Jay? Heinrich, Seridia, where is Jay? I want to finish her quest. Lots of wardens, I like that. There is Cassia. Having a little chit chat with an aristocrat. Good, nothing new here as well. Uh, that was an interesting turn of events. So, companions quests. Cassia has asked the Lord Captain to discuss the events. Yeah, I can imagine that. And we need to return to the Adeptus Administratum. But it was not in the palace, it was actually in in that uh, administration building. But let's do Cassia first. Or not, because she doesn't want to talk here. Uh, do we have anything in our private chambers? No, she wouldn't join us here. All right, cool, 15 navigational insight. That is awesome. Still don't know what exactly uh, the um, 
luxury uh, luxurious uh, welcoming has done we just lost one profit factor which i think sometimes the game isn't doing uh, enough of a job to uh, to influence that i like the little uh, blue boxes that tell you what happened based on which um, decision that you've taken how fascinating so I would suggest that there would have been a little bit more than uh, the the house or Delio recognizing that we have given them a proper uh, welcoming for instance in an extra um, option to talk to them and trade something for the profit factor i mean i'm not complaining because 15 navigational insight is crazy that is ultra good Good. Off we go into the administratum. <clears throat> if I could uh, take a guess, it'll lead to a shootout. Because why would you then be forced to take Jay with you elsewise? Let's seize the opportunity. I hope that this quest is worth it. Here is your paper, complete with seals. Yes, oh yes indeed, it is perfect. The seals are authentic, so we may continue with the certification process. Great. This is your queue and your ticket number is uh, 394. When it's your turn to be seen, uh, the ranking uh, perfect will review your documentation again and sign off the official certification for her, uh, J uh, to possess a, a Mercatium Tablea office, uh, Official. Uh, you will have to wait a bit, but it's worth at the end. This is a kind of joke. Hardly. In accordance with the decree, citizens of the capital wor uh, world von Valencius Protectorate must submit their uh, petition uh, of the assigned windows at the waiting hall. I am the rogue trader, I do not queue. Under the Lex Imperialis, your rights and privileges as a rogue trader come into effect only after your official ascension uh, ceremony. Until then, you are just another humble servant. Okay, then let's queue. Take your place in the queue. The queue hums with thousands of voices. Someone has rolled out uh, bedding and settling down to sleep. Someone is playing a bizarre musical instrument. Many are praying. Several highborn petitioners are debating who here is most important in the business. You have to admit the magnificence of the administrative machine in the Imperium. Uh, but what a thrilling adventure this is turning out to be, Sharin. I've never seen anything like this before. And sometimes it's good to take a break from the constant traveling.
Wait patiently. Eight hours. Oh my lord. The last eight hours, the only thing that has changed is the waiting hall is the warden shift. Petitioners are still queuing. Uh, throne take me, what torturous trial have we uh, led ourselves for? Such precious time is lost and we've only moved three places ahead. This raid will be old and grey. Do you have a better idea? You wound me, Shireen. J. Um, Herdari always has a better idea. What would you say to make good folk ahead of us hurry up a little bit? The simplest way to make those lowly subjects bow down before the blinding radiance of our title, Shireen. The second option requires a little bit more patience. I've already found out the first Vic, um, compassionate citizen who is standing 50 places ahead of us in the queue. Simply offer uh, the, uh, the right words to unlock his heart and uh, we will gladly swap tickets with you. And uh, also you have the power to solve the problem of some petitioners removing their needs. After all, uh, is there anything an ordinary citizen could want that is beyond the power of the conqueror of stars to grant? Address a tender-hearted man. May the Emperor illuminate your path, brother. I'm Jay and this is Saiken. We've just been queuing so long already, we're practically family now. Won't you tell us what brought you to this palace? Uh, my name is Menas, Menas de Pier. I've been uh, here a month already. I've tried everything I could uh, to get uh, to that window. Nothing worked. My poor, poor Elena. Uh, she's my daughter, my flesh and blood. Um, they detained her to Webos uh, 6. The charges were false. Now, how uh, that is how the administration operates. I've uh, said too much. I apologize. My nerves, my nerves. I just keep thinking about her on Verbos. All right, and now where I am, standing, waiting, it doesn't matter at this rate. The queue is moving. It'll be 10 cycles or more before our numbers is coming up. What is your daughter accused for? Falsely accused. Uh, she was slandered. They said she deliberately poisoned a whole room of highborn with cake. Have you ever heard uh, mm, the like of it? The nobles who didn't make it as far as privy, panic, outrage, scandal. And my daughter was uh, mm, charged. Of course, blame the smugglers. I do think your uh, daughter would mind if the rogue trader go ahead of you. I don't want to lose more um, money. Of course, of course, it would be an honor. Please go ahead, your lordship. We'll move forward considerably, Shireen, but you aren't ready to stop here, are you? I'll be honest, Shireen, I've already tried to convince Heinrichs to use his interrogation rosette uh, with sweet words. Perhaps he will be more uh, open for your request. Alright, another eight hours go by. The queue has hardly moved. The adept uh, next to the window was dealing with uh, rebelling machine spirits, so the petitioners from the queue were uh, diverted in the middle of yours. Shireen, you are a saint. Have I told you that before? You must be, because I don't see any other reason you would uh, show such fervent and senseless pa uh, patience. Can't we hurry a bit more? Okay, use your tricks. We shall solve the problems of common uh, people. Oh, exalted one, could today be my lucky day? No longer will I have to stand in this hall waiting day and night um, for your problems. Uh, 
a young worker listen to the young man all right I've been a queue for two dozen moons already and trying my per uh, to get my permission slip uh, to wet my fiance Zazi esteemed Lord my eighth offspring has lost his mind decided to renounce his family his noble title his talent as a healer all for the sake of a tattered wave Uh, no, we're not giving him a full university. What kind of solutions are those? Um, the lives of uh, the commoners hold no value. When you finish the university, you will be qualified to serve uh, those who are truly worthy. No. I sign the paper if you require a sponsor. Thank you. I promise to tell my children and children's children of your kindness. death for life uh, you are here to request mortification so that the organs can go to granddaughters as an inheritance uh, she will hardly want any of your worn out body parts old timer servitor proposal only now you notice that the tattoos on his right arm symbol of adeptus administratum and several interlocking change it seems the older fellow is property of a perfect uh, perfect in place um All right, I will give the order for your granddaughter to be repaired. Um, but if you wish to be her, uh, 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 to be her forever, you will also need uh, to subject to servitude. Impera okay. Hmm. Well, if he wants to help um, the granddaughter, then that is fine. Four more? Are you kidding me? Okay, wealthy lady, I heard you were helping those in needs when my family has devastated my life. Uh, mm, life's work, my shop of selling rare heads has burned to ashes. I'm living on the last years of the widow alone, cold. Um, I shall have my people select the best spouse. No, 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 why ever would you? No more husbands, I'm too old for that. All I want is to enjoy my last years of life. Perhaps uh, I can rebuild that head shop. Please take my uh, place in the queue. I insist. Oh, wow. Time passed. Well, that was amusing. Paid off the last few onlookers who were willing to give up their places. It's a pity they are also uh, amendable. Jay inspects the ticket she now holds and nods with satisfaction. We've moved forward considerably. Bersherin, we aren't ready to stop here, are you? Heinrich, it's a perfect opportunity to make use of your privileged status. Okay, he drives a few of those away. Another two hours have gone. <laughs> All right, uh, Sister Argenta, I believe those peoples have been gripped by despondency. Um, a sermon from his daughters could restore their determination. Words of faith can heal anyone's wounds, even those who bleed not, not in doubt. Okay, she does that. Let's get a couple more away and stay safe on a free. There is no uh, star more convenient than this, which points to the exalted one. 
Well, that went faster than I expected. We had a little bit of weight, of course, but uh, times it was actually fun. One last seal, one more certification, and you'll be looking at the official trade representative, Jay. What are you waiting for, Shireen? Let's go. Let's have another couple of hours with the certification officers to go through. The certification officer uh, lenses the documentation. His augmented ocular eyes whirs and lenses zoom in and out. With quite scratching sounds, the cockdita quills uh, that serve uh, in place of the officer's fingers make notes on the fine sheet of paper. The document is hereby certified. Return uh, to the Master of Seals. Powers unseen, uncover my path. Oh wow, what a quest. Here are the uh, uh, seals. Wonderful. The Emperor blessed you with patience greater than that appointed to the ordinary mortals. Allow me to verify the authenticity of your documents for a final time. Yes, yes, confirm. Everything is in order in this one. Ah, the seal is smudged slightly. Hmm, I suppose I can overlook it, given that the rest has been certified correctly and promptly. Congratulations, uh, J. Herdaryu, you are now holder of the Mercantium Tabula Officiale. Do not forget to repeat the certification process every 100 Terran cycles. Uphold the law of the Imperium, etc., etc. All right, yes, yes, and Imtermar, give me the certificate already. Praise the exalted one who saw me through all of these trials, Shireen. This is something to tell my grandchildren about. Let's hope, um, brother the Dunmar any longer, Shireen. Why don't we discuss our next steps on the ship? Intriguing. All right, so we got two more private discussions, one with Jay and one uh, with Lady Cassia to do on the ship. Ooh, what a quest. It was an interesting one. That's uh, the best way of saying it. Not a cool one, but an interesting one. Imagine needing to get multiple of uh, these uh, things signed. That would be crazy. All right, um, let's go grab Jay. Shereen, light of my eyes, give her a boons and savior of the needy. From now on, two sons will grace the firmament of the Fon Valencius Protectorate. One bright and powerful, like the rogue trader himself, and the other slightly more humble. Like his unassuming partner, the diligent owner of the Mercatum Tabula Officiale, and all around the light, Jai Hidari. As I promised before, my crew will be your eyes and ears across the entire expanse, Sherin. Just give them time. And of course, the assistant to official trade representative Jai Hidari is already rushing to Dargonis to deliver goods of rare and exquisite quality to you and your people, O oh master of many worlds. And once again, thank you, Sherin. A rogue trader cannot have friends, Sherin. Only servants for whom the word of their master is supreme law. And partners to whom the favor of the warrant bearer is the highest reward for their mutual efforts. Why are you looking at me like that? How many friends does the soul that shines down upon holy Terra have? You are welcome to call our relations whatever you like, Sherin. After all, words mean little. But you have taken good care of me, and so I would like to take good care of you. And go slightly beyond the strict terms of our agreement. Here. I brought a small gift as a token of gratitude, and may the Exalted One keep watching over the past that you tread. All right. Um, tell me about uh, your business in the Corona Six Strand. My means knowing the right people and non-people, having the right connections, and making sure the precious goods find their way into the hands of my no less precious customers. My wisdom includes the knowledge of the enemies of humankind, be they Xenos 
or the lowest scum in the Imperium, as well as the latest knowledge about how much they charge for any particular curio at the footfall market. Not even the most cunning Aji will deceive you as long as I am with you, Sherin. I promise you that. Whatever I have can be yours too, if your unfathomable wealth isn't enough for you already, I mean. All right. I think we've said all there is to say on this topic. Fantastic. I'll see you later. Oh, I have. Good, and with that, I think our uh, companion quest is uh, done with her, which is great. We got a nice little uh, cloak out of it. Uh, one that removes uh, burning, bleeding, toxin, and uh, negative effects, and uh, gives adjacent allies a bonus to temporary wounds. So I'm just wondering. Um, I'm just wondering. Uh, for Cassia, that would be a good uh, cloak. I think that's a fantastic one to be precise. Okay, fantastic. Good. Speaking about Cassia, uh, she did so very well in that fight. Everybody did, matter of fact. Let's talk it to her. It is so fortunate you have come. I admit I was seeking you out myself. After the events on Dargonus, it felt like an anthracite grey mantle had dropped on my shoulders. I spent a long time thinking about our very first meeting and what happened next. I cannot wait to shake off this dreary color. It was very naive of me to follow in the footsteps of the man who raised me in a gilded cage. And I was deaf to the needs of my own house. But you, you opened my eyes. As the future Novatur, I must gain wisdom to restore House Orselio to its former glory, no matter the cost. <laughs> Thank you. It will be an honor to keep guiding your vessel through the Sea of Souls, for as long as the needs of our dynasties are aligned. All right, I hope you are feeling a little safer now that Elena Orselio has been executed. On the contrary, Lord Captain. The mere thought of what happened tightens a grey-blue slip noose around my throat. To realize, again and again, how fervently your subjects hate you. I am sorry, Lord Captain. I should not have darkened your colors with my own struggles. I would never reveal this secret to an outsider, but you, you have come to my aid more than once already. The Starway Atlas is a sacred artifact of House Orselio. It helps our navigators chart a course through the warp. This crystal, I mean, the Atlas, has been inside me for as long as I can remember, giving me strength. But the others... I noticed the renegades in the palace were choked by ashen ghosts of despair when we met face to face. I swear the ghosts were reaching for their atlases. Interesting. So the atlas is some sort of crystal implanted uh, at you but from my birth? Atlas is much more powerful than the others. It's the Atlas of Tisiphone herself. That is what people have whispered behind my back my whole life. Although no one knew for certain, but I, I always suspected. I simply did not wish to admit it to myself. Very good. Certain navigators in your house fear the Atlas power. Certain navigators in my house have tried to kill me more than once. But the tales of Tisiphone's brutality, I am beginning to wonder. What if they are all true? What if I will be a new tormentor to those who serve me? You said you wouldn't share the secret with anyone. Does that mean I'm someone for you? And she blushes. Thank you for listening. <laughs> I have enjoyed your company. 
predictable but she's a true lady uh, she definitely is not an easy uh, wife to obtain uh, okay very good uh, well then the last uh, things that we are doing is just double checking our uh, potential riches so we got a flamer here not that we currently have a flamer but a uh, flamer wielding character but it's fine we got a couple of med kits that's good as well and we're rocking a profit factor of 40 so we do have uh hmm those boots are nice radiant gloves aren't bad either so we could uh, continue working on the reputation here but we don't have enough at the moment uh, this here wouldn't be bad either heavy plasma gun would be fantastic uh, can we get to the next uh, level barely <laughs> with trading everything in okay so that's a great necklace and the heavy plasma gun will help our good old Pascal to deliver some much needed ass kicking and we got another battery fantastic good I like to do the shopping at uh, the very end so, Sunhammer lands battery. Look at that. Whoosh. Huge. Uh, then we got a couple of uh, weapons. Uh, one for Pascal. Uh, that heavy plasma gun is more damage, more range, more max ammunition. I think I like it also it looks absolutely fly and then we got a whenever the wearer gains uh, and allies in a two cell radius gain momentum they also gain an equal amount of temporary wounds Ooh. okay which means we only need to find someone who could use uh, that I like our single uh, target bolter hits. That's a really uh, the blessed bolter casing. That is really good. Um, let's give it to you, because Pascal um, is standing next to typically uh, Saiken and um, and Argenta, and we could uh, definitely use that to our advantage. And that kind of concludes uh, today's episode of uh, Warhammer Rogue Trader. Thanks a lot for watching. We're going to see each other in the next episode. And as always, uh, make sure uh, that you stay loyal to the Emperor. Uh, that can be done, for instance, by filling out form something, something, something uh, to get an uh, uh, access to the like button. And once you have stood in queue, you are allowed to touch it. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye bye.